Hi viewers, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss 4, 5 and 6 problems in exercise 7.2 in coordinate geometry of 10th class mathematics. Right? Yes, before doing these problems, viewers, please subscribe my YouTube channel, those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let's do the problems. Yeah. See, this is the fourth question. If 1 comma 2, 4 comma y, x comma 6 and 3 comma 5 are the vertices of a parallelogram taken in order, find x and y. If 1 comma 2, 4 comma y, x comma 6 and 3 comma 5 are the vertices of the parallelogram taken in order, find x and y. Look here, first uh, draw the parallelogram. Suppose this is the parallelogram A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. So these are the vertices A. Suppose let us take 1 comma 2, B, 4 comma Y, C, X comma 6, and D, 3 comma 5. Right. So these are the vertices of the parallelogram taken in order. We have to find the value of X and Y. X and Y, how can you find? Right. So look here. First join these uh, diagonals AC and BD. AC and BD intersect at O no? Intersect at O. Here. So diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Which means midpoint of AC is equal to midpoint of BD. Midpoint of AC is equal to midpoint of BD. So let us find midpoints of AC and BD. Then we can easily find the values of X and Y. Right? Yes. Solution. The given vertices, vertices of the parallelogram are CA. 1 comma 2 b 4 comma y c x comma 6 and d 3 comma 5 right yes in a parallelogram diagonals diagonals bisect each other bisect each other right therefore midpoint of midpoint of ac is equal to midpoint of bd midpoint of ac midpoint of ac is equal to midpoint of bd yes what is the midpoint formula midpoint formula s is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 so midpoint of a c a a 1 comma 2 c x comma 6 is equal to mp of midpoint mp means midpoint of bd b 4 comma y d 3 comma 5 right here let us take an as x1 y1 x2 y2 right first x1 plus x2 by 2 1 plus x by 2 comma 2 plus 6 by 2 is equal to here also x1 y1 x2 y2 4 plus 3 by 2 comma y plus 5 by 2 right this is 1 plus x by 2 as it is right on 2 plus 6 8 by 2 8 by 2 means 4 right that is equal to this is 4 plus 3 7 by 2 y plus 5 by 2 See, in this both x coordinates, x coordinates get uh, equal and y coordinates and y coordinates are equal, right? So, that implies, here I will do, that implies x plus 1 plus x by 2 is equal to 7 by 2 here and both sides denominator 2, 2 get cancelled. So, that implies x is equal to 7 plus 1 transform to each side, minus 1 that is equal to 6 x is equal to how much we have got 6 next in the same way y plus 5 by 2 is equal to 4 so that implies y plus 5 is equal to 2 transform to this side 4 2 is 8 y is equal to 8 minus 5 this is 3 so 
how much we have got therefore x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 3 have you understood clearly yes note it down next fifth question find the coordinates of a point a where a b is the diameter of a circle whose center is 2 comma minus 3 and b is 1 comma 4 find the coordinates of a point a where a b is the diameter a b is the diameter of the circle whose center is 2 comma minus 3 here 2 comma minus 3 center suppose o 2 comma minus 3 has given next one end point of the diameter b is 1 comma 4 has given we should find another end point of the diameter a let us uh, call it is as a x comma y let us find the value of x comma y coordinates of x comma y yes here look here this is center means midpoint of this diameter isn't it center of the circle means midpoint of diameter so let us use midpoint formula right solution given a b is the diameter a b is the diameter next b is b is 1 comma 4 and center center o is 2 comma minus 3 yes midpoint of midpoint of a b is, is equal to center center of the circle right yes here midpoint actually midpoint formula x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2 is equal to center how much 2 comma minus 3 right here also write on let the point let the point a is x comma y let the point a be x comma y here x1 plus x2 which means x plus 1 by 2 x plus 1 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 here y plus 4 by 2 y plus 4 by 2 is equal to 2 comma minus 3 here in on both sides x coordinates are equal and y coordinates are also equal so x plus 1 by 2 is equal to 2 and uh, y plus 4 by 2 is equal to minus 3 x plus 1 is equal to 2 transfer this set uh, 2 to the 4 x is equal to 4 minus 1 this, that is 3 x is equal to 3 in the same way y plus 4 is equal to 2 into minus 3 minus 6 so y is equal to minus 6 minus 4 so that is y, y is equal to how much minus 6 minus 4 will be minus 10 so therefore therefore the coordinates coordinates of the point point a is equal to how much yes x is 3 comma y is minus 10 have you understood clearly yes note it down next is sixth question if a and b are minus 2 comma minus 2 and 2 comma minus 4 respectively Find the coordinates of P such that AP is equal to 3 by 7 and P lies on the segment AB. If A and B are the points as given minus 2 and minus 2, minus 2 comma minus 2 and 2 comma minus 4. It is on the line segment. Suppose AB is the line segment A minus 2 comma minus 2 and B 2 comma minus 4 is there. Yes sir. So what we have what has given again ap is equal to 3 by 7 and p lies on segment ab suppose p is the point p is the point lies on the segment ab next ap is equal to 3 by 7 of ab ap is ap is equal to 3 by 7 of ab so here this ap is equal to the total seven parts ab these three parts ap is equal to three parts means pb how much how many parts 
yes four parts why because here look here ap ap by ab ab is equal to 3 by 7 only na yes this uh, res do reciprocal ab by ap is equal to 7 by 3 so apply minus 1 on both sides this will be minus 1 and minus 1 so ab minus ap into 1 ap by ap is equal to 7 minus 3 by 3 right ab minus ap ab minus ap will be pb pb by ap is equal to 7 minus 3 4 4 by 3 so here ap is 3 parts ap is 3 parts pb will be 4 parts actually in some uh, problem itself we have we have to do in this method directly we know very well about this uh, because total seven parts means this uh, this is three parts this will be four parts directly we know but problem itself we have to do in this method right so ap is to pb ap is to pb is equal to three is to four three is to four is to has come ratio has come so which formula section formula we have to apply right yeah p x comma y divides divides the point the line joining joining a x1 comma y1 and b x2 comma y2 in the ratio in the ratio m1 is to m2 is equal to yes m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2 right so apply this one here p x comma y the points given points are given points points a minus 2 comma minus 2 b 2 comma minus 4 and ratio ratio m1 is to m2 is equal to 3 is to 4 has come right yeah apply this one so coordinates of uh, the point x comma y is equal to m1 x2 m1 is 3 into x2 here x1 y1 x2 y2 m1 x2 3 into 2 plus m2 m2 is 4 into x1 minus 2 by 3 plus 4 next m2 y m1 y2 m1 is 3 into y2 is minus 4 plus m1 m2 y1 m2 is 4 into y1 is minus 2 minus 2 by 3 plus 4 right so that is equal to 3 2 is 6 plus 4 my 4 into minus 2 here plus into minus minus 4 2 is 8 by 7 3 into 4 minus 12 plus into minus minus 8 4 2 is 8 by 7 so that is equal to minus 2 by 7 comma minus 20 by 7 right therefore required required co coordinates of the point of the point p is minus 2 by 7 comma minus 20 by 7 have you understood clearly yes note it down Okay viewers, if you like my video, please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much.